Hey YouTube, I'm Corey Walker, owner of technology company Rocky Top Solutions, and also I'm a software engineer for IBM Cloud. Technology has advanced so quickly and have given so many benefits to so many people, but it's also introduced so many security issues that can really come up to bite people if they're not aware of it. So what we're gonna to do today is give you five easy tips you can do very easily and very quickly that can protect your identity and your security and privacy online as good as possible with very little effort. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you like to learn about technology tutorials and tips and tricks, subscribe now below. And if you think this video is helpful and you think other people will like it, hit that like button at the end, that way our video will be recommended to others. Let's get to it. <clears throat> All right guys, so tip number one, always use a VPN or virtual private network when on public networks. Public networks are those such as networks you connect to at coffee shops, hotels, airports, doctor's offices, things like that, when all you have to do is, you know, agree to their terms whenever you connect to it. A little section pops up with their terms and conditions. You just press accept and you connect. They don't have any kind of password or encryption for their network, so all the data going through their network is unencrypted. That means that any kind of cyber criminal on that same network can use special software to view all the data going across the network. And that means they can see your passwords, usernames, personal information, anything you do on your device while you're connected to the network. <clears throat> Good news is all you have to do is use a VPN and that should pretty much fix that problem. Here are three VPN net, uh, service providers that uh, I like and I would recommend Proton VPN. They are um, headquartered in Switzerland and so their privacy laws are very very good so that they don't they they're not they don't sell any kind of your information or log a bunch of personal information for when you're using their VPN service. So they're very good. Also really like NordVPN and Norton 360 comes with a VPN that you can use. So these three networks uh, are very, very good for using a VPN on your devices. Um, I'll leave the links in the comments below so you can, or in the description below so that you can uh, find those very easily and go try those out and possibly sign up for a plan there. Uh, tip number two is always using antivirus or anti-malware software on your devices. And yes, even Macs need antivirus or anti-malware software. Um, and always keep up-to-date backups in a remote location. Uh, the first thing is using antivirus and anti-malware software. These three are my favorites. Malwarebytes is very, 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 very popular and very good. Um, they actually, I think, are a little bit better than normal antivirus uh, providers such as Norton and McAfee. But my second choice would be Norton and third would be McAfee. Uh, for both uh, Windows or Mac. Uh, Malwarebytes is definitely my favorite. I will be leaving the links in the description below also so you can look at those and try those out and see for yourself which one you like the most. Um, for remote backups or off-site backups, you want to keep backups both local, like off, off your computer, and also in a remote location. Uh, the ones that are local, close to your computer, are a lot quicker to restore if something happens. But if a natural disaster or something like that happens, or if you have um, something happen to where you just lose everything in your home or your, wherever your computer is located, you at least have a copy of your data somewhere else where you can get a new computer, hook up to it, and just get all that data back. So that's definitely something that needs to be kept up to date as good as possible. Uh, Backblaze and CrashPlan allow for unlimited backup data. Uh, Cronus does not, but Cronus allows for you to have a, or create bootable system images where you can put those on a external hard drive and actually boot and run your computer off that external hard drive if need be. So 
you kind of can weigh both of them or actually if you want you can combine them tip number three limiting the amount of information that google knows about you uh, google collects a lot of information about whoever uses their services um, but you can uh, change some settings in your account to where they can only collect certain types of information or limit the length of time they can keep some of this information i'll leave the links in the comments or in the description below to where you can see um, where to go to change that and also i will leave a link in the description on uh to for the how to on how to change those things if you want to <clears throat> tip number four uh, there's a couple of browser extensions that can definitely help with your privacy. Um, they block these things called trackers that track what your, your browsing history, and then they will uh, convey those to other third parties and use it for ad targeting. So that such, such as whenever you go to an e-commerce site and you view an item, and then you go to a different website and all of a sudden you see ads for that item or similar items, that's where these trackers come into play. So using Ghostery and Adblock Plus, you can uh, block a lot of those trackers. Um, pretty much all of them using Ghostery and Adblock Plus does some of them too. Um, but sometimes it, disclaimer, it does sometimes break some functional, functionality on some sites. So if you're doing something and you notice that something is not working properly, like submitting a form or something like that, pause both of these uh, extension in your browser try it again if it goes through all is good and then you just re-enable these as soon as you can afterwards um, adblock plus also blocks ads on many many sites such as facebook and google uh, many sites though are detecting ad blockers and they will block you from viewing their content until you disable that ad blocker for that site tip number five securing email and other communications um Things, uh, free email providers such as Gmail, um, Yahoo Mail, and Outlook Mail, they're free for a reason. They use your information to target ads to you by reading your emails and scanning your emails and then targeting ads based on what the content is in your emails, such as Amazon purchases and stuff like that. Um, so one way of you can actually protect your privacy is using a encrypted email providers such as proton mail they have a free tier where you only you get 500 megabytes of storage but they offer paid plans where everything is encrypted and proton mail is the same company that uses proton vpn they're in switzerland have very good privacy laws very very um highly rated and very recommended uh another way of securing your email is encrypting your own emails by using either gpg or gnupg uh, tools um, or you can use smime smime encrypts all the header email headers and attachments and everything so it it could possibly allow for uh, some security risk by not knowing what is encrypted in the email but a gpg tool you can encrypt whatever little pieces you want in the email uh, the signal messenger is an encrypted and very secure messaging app uh, has desktop mobile apps and all that where and also Edward Snowden the NSA whistleblower that gotten uh, a bunch of attention a few years ago uh, said that he would suggest using signal messenger uh, for any kind of secure messaging that he would do for any kind of purpose that needs all that security um, iMessage is another great one uh, text messaging of course is just as bad as un unencrypted email so if you're really concerned about security and privacy, these are some uh, ways to secure your communications and keep your privacy intact. If you like, my, like this video, please hit the like button. And if you think that uh, you would like to see any more videos like this, any other content, please feel free to comment and let me know what kind of tutorials or tips and tricks you would like to know about. And also remember to subscribe to my channel. That way you get notified whenever I do post any more videos like this and you can see it right away. Thanks.